What's up, Mercs? It's John here with some more Faction Wars. Last time we fought the Clear Sky and the Cordon, and today we're going to move on the old farmstead. So, let's quickly go ahead and grab a squad from down here and move them to the encampment under the bridge, because we do need someone there. Oh, and there's Monolith here. Okay, let's hurt. Or let's help first. Really quick save. Yeah, there's some Monolith coming up on them. I can see them coming from the east. Monolith here? It's so weird, because Clear Sky owns the east, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's some Defiance remnants around. Here, wait. How can I help? Uh, eliminate hostiles. Fire for effect. There they are. Merc, where are you? Finally, oh, wow, headshot. There we go. Good guys like you. There we go. There's still another one over there. Still got one, guys. Stay in cover. I'm moving up. Shit. There he is. Just shotgunner. There we go. Nice. So we got a reward for that. I wonder how much reward we get for defense. Probably more than offense, I would imagine. Because, I mean, defense is like saving lives. Offense could be putting lives in danger, if you think about it. Oh my god, did the body flip? Is this the body? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Who's this? Clear sky? Ooh, shit. He must have been just killed. Oh, so this was a... This was a clear sky camp here, and it was owned by one clear sky member, or maintained by one clear sky member. It looks like the monolith kicked him out. That is pretty funny, actually. So, this is empty, which means we're going straight to the old farmstead. So let's move. And also, I did find out that you can get one companion from the depot and one companion from your faction base. This information was given to me, giving to me, given to me I mean, by Mr. Car Touche 33. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. But yes, I completely butchered that sentence. But yeah, so now we know how to do that. Uh, which squad do I want to send out? I mean, I guess I can send both. So we're gonna send. Oh, nope, you're not a squad. We're going to send you to the encampment under the bridge. Go. We're going to send you to the old farmstead. Farmstead, yes. And let's do this quickly, because night is falling, and we want to kill these clear sky slash defiance, I don't know who really is here anymore, before nightfall. At least, you know, well, I mean, I guess nightfall is a good time to attack, but then we can't see either. I mean, they may have night vision, you know, them, but I don't have night vision, so. And who knows if clear sky has night vision, they might, which isn't good to our situation. So let's just move up. I guess I could scout. Hell, I could even start attacking right now. Let's just reload this. Oh shit, he's looking right at me. Could kill him. He's a sniper rifle too, I should be careful. There you go. They got the snipers on the roofs. Oh shit, someone moved to his position. They're reviving him, shit. There we go. Oh shit, I forgot I'm still out of med kits and shit. That isn't good. We're probably going to die now. Yeah, we're pretty much dead at this point. Damn it, I completely forgot. Does anyone have a med kit or a bandage? Do I have any money? I do. Bandage. Oops. That didn't help. Bandages. Bandages quickly. Time is money, so start talking. There we go. We're at half health, but hey, we're at least not bleeding anymore. Uh, does anyone else have... Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Does anyone else have any bandages? You have food, oh, yes. I could buy that. Bandage. No. Med kit and bandage. Attention! If keep your eyes peeled. Attack okay. on Dying my command. Let's just eat to restore health for now. Alright, here we go. This squad is a squad coming with me to the next area. In fact, there's only three guys with that squad. Wait, no. Oh, no. It's a big What's squad. You, Four people. Doctor? I kind of want to send this one with them. Nah. Four people taking on one big old faction base. We can take them. We get to cover and kill that guy who's up there. This is good cover right here. There we go, he's dead. Alright, now, I shouldn't be doing that because, like they just said, I give them away. But, I do want to start taking out their snipers so we don't have to deal with them. Because those snipers could easily, you know, take our whole squad out. And they do have quite a bit of snipers. Every time I take one out, one more pops up, so. Let's switch to my shotgun. It's time to move in. Oh, shit, maybe not. Quick save. Let's go, let's go. I'll grenade the back of the base, guys. Oh, there's one. Oh, that actually hit a few people. Or possibly just one guy who then healed after it hit. Still hitting someone back there. Oh, shit, there's someone up there. I can see his light. He's up top. Oh god. That <laughs> the whole zone just froze in place when I killed him. He actually had a med kit on his side, so he may have some healing items. May. I mean, there's a good chance we can't use it, but hopefully we can. Fuck. There we go. That was the last of our medical supplies, too. We should move. Holy hell, yes, please. Alright, well. Where is the guy I killed over here? This him? Yeah. I thought. Oh shit. Don't mind me. Don't worry. Not shooting. Just just looting. I need some health. Damn it, did the bodies all fall? They might have all fallen down. Oh shit, is that an enemy up there? Holy fucking shit, what is he doing? And why didn't anyone take him down? Oh good, bandy. And it didn't help. Two snipers up here, though. I really need another band-aid, guys. Holy shit! That was close as hell! This is actually the medic, too. But no freaking band-aids or med kits. Wait a minute! I'm an idiot. There's a loner trader here. Oh, wait, no, there's not. That was a defiance trader. And he is dead. Repair my suit. Repair my gun. Yeah, do those things. Bandage. Thank you. I mean, did I not buy it? Damn it, stop walking. You can have the body, just give me bandage. There we go, now I'm no longer bleeding. Okay, so, let's check the conditions. Uh, this looks like to be the best condition. Fortunately, it's the only one with no upgrades. This one has the most upgrades. So, I think I'm actually going to keep this one, because upgrades on these weapons are pretty expensive. But that does mean that repairs on this weapon are pretty expensive, too. Hmm. Let's go in here and talk to the uh, repairman, see what he gets to say. 8,000. Yep, that's pretty expensive. Now, 
There is a squad leader up there. Is he up there? What happened? Yeah. So we've captured this. I don't know what this means. I guess now we own a base here. Does this increase our squad capacity or something? I guess. I don't know the, the mechanics of all this, you know, very well. Still kind of getting used to all the mechanics. But I think that's basically what it means. We have more squad capacity and they have less. So, Clear Sky is a big threat right now, but they're actually not the biggest threat, as we saw earlier when we looked at the uh, PDA. The Freedomers are probably the biggest threat. I mean, they have the biggest squad or groups, you know. Food. Uh, some of those grenades. Ooh, oh, another one. Can't yeah, never take it all. Okay. So, we just check here. Um... Now we actually have to move in there, which kind of makes me nervous, because last time we went to uh, the swamp, it was like, no! Crash. So I think we won't do that. No, we're not doing that. We're going to move on freedom. Or we can move over to this place. I think over there is, um, I think that's also freedom territory. I think they captured it from the bandits, right? I mean, the bandits are dead, right? Yeah. Bandits, defiance, and mercenaries are all dead. Kind of anticlimactic that it happened so fast, but you know. What can you do? We're actually going to stay here to sleep because it's not very dangerous when we're near friends and in a base. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's open this up. A bunch of crates in here. Some I didn't even open yet, but I don't know if I will. And I just repaired that. I don't have to check. And uh, I didn't check the time. It is... Okay, so it's not too late. Uh, I think I'll sleep for 10 hours. It's kind of early, actually. What is 2100? Like around 9 o'clock-ish? And it was like 2155, I think? So what's that, like 10? I don't know military times very well. I kind of know... I understand how they work. Like, it's not that I don't understand the concept. I just don't know them very well. And I don't... I mean, I get, it confuses me sometimes. Like, I understand the concept of it. But it still kind of confuses me. Um, so I wonder... Can I go attack them? Military outpost? We should go kill them. Um, we honestly should go get these vehicle stations. We're gonna move down south. We're not gonna. We're gonna stay and get a bigger foothold in the cordon here. I'm gonna go alone right now because I don't feel like going all the way back for a companion. When we go past the depot, we'll try and find the companion in there. I have no idea where that companion is or how we get it, but I'm pretty sure it's not too hard. Probably just talk to someone. I want these blue resources though. Oh shit! That was a um. A Psy dog. Haven't seen one of those yet. Make sure we have a rifle out here. It is daytime. I want to be very cautious. In fact, I want my binoculars out. Hmm. I don't know what Clear Sky own, and there could be renegades or monolith roaming and military too. This is military uh, down south, military territory. Anyone here? No. Nope. Hmm. Wow, this is a really crappy encampment. There's not even a little green case. <laughs> Someone doesn't know how to activate the gravity artifact. Now, is there anyone owning that? Yeah, there is someone in there. There are people in there. Can't get a good reading on them, though. There they are. Clear sky. I feel like from up here we can easily take them. Damn it! If, if any of these make me bleed, I'm, like, gonna die. Like, that's how bad bleeding is. I go to attack a freaking clear sky base and their Tushgano horde saves them. Ah, uh, look at all these monoliths. They got gunned down, probably by 
clear sky. They're the only people down here. Did I say... Did I say attack a freedom base, or did I say attack a duty base? I don't know. I think I, f I feel like I said one of those, but either way, they're both wrong. <laughs> I meant clear sky. I don't remember if I said that or not. I felt like I didn't say that, though. So I took out one guy. There's no one going to heal him, which leads me to believe there's no one else in there. But it's very, very unlikely that this is a squad of one. However, not unheard of. There was a squad of one for the encampment under the bridge from Clear Sky because Monolith killed them. And there are dead Monolith near here, so, you know, you never know. Let's go in and see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm wrong. And that there are definitely more than one Clear Sky members in here. And that they more than definitely know where I am. Oh god! Holy shit! Holy shit! Get the fuck back! <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky! How oh, didn't I get hit? Your aim is awful! You don't deserve a gun! Oh my god, my first artifact, the meat chunk. Plus 40% health, minus impact, rupture, and bulletproof. I will take it and... I don't know how to put it on. What is that? What's everything happening? Task cancelled, capture barricades. I'm going to sell an AKM. Eh, whatever. He's in the swamps anyway. I don't want to go there. Cool. So our first artifact. Nice. So I don't hear any more voices. No, 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 no. Get out of there. There's someone there. Yes, using a shotgun at this range is terrible. Which is why I'm going to use a pistol. Dude, he keeps healing every time I hit him. Like, I can see his health going back up to 100. He keeps fucking healing himself. Okay, now it's time to fucking pull a rifle. I got so many headshots on with the pistol. I guess the pistol is just not enough to kill someone one shot in the head. Which is unfortunate. Let me eat bread here real quick. So there is another guy behind him. I don't know where he went, though. I feel like he went in here. Let me reload. I'm gonna make a break for that next door. Hmm. I don't wanna be on the open like this, but where the fuck is this guy? Just getting doors. He could be in here. He is in here. Holy shit. He definitely had some med kits. Alright, I think we're clear now. Oh wow, there's stuff all over this place. I think we're clear. It's loot. Alright, let's call in reinforcements. We are clear in here. Let's go ahead and call in a squad. Um, call reinforcements from base. Yeah, 28 seconds because I'm. It says institute building, but I'm pretty sure since this is the nearest base, it's calling from there. That's why the wait time is so short. Then we have nine sec. Well, not really. They're gonna arrive close to us, not here. So let's loot. About to say we have nine seconds to loot, but no, not really. We got plenty more than that. Plenty of time to take whatever we want. 
Bandage, money. Alright, so next place we're going to go to is the Rookie Village here. Or Village Center, as it's called here. Um, it's going to be... I want to say it's going to be harder than normal to tank, because it's a village center with a lot of, you know, villagers. As in, there's a lot of uh, loners there. So I have a feeling if we do go there, we may have some trouble accidentally hitting loners. I want to head up here for this, though. Reward for a hero. Your purchase awaits you inside the backpack next to the unlucky stalker's dead body. Look for it near the old electric locomotive. All our bases were just reinforced. We have this place now. As soon as this... Is that the upgrade guy? What? Oh, no. Oh, this is just... This is a guide. Because it said, where can you lead me to? That's weird. The guide came here. Maybe maybe it's because it's a blue. Because it's a squad resource or whatever it is. A, yeah, just a resource. Um, I don't know. But yeah, okay, so we got a resource. I don't know what resources do. It says squad capacity 4, but they all have a squad capacity. I didn't know what that meant at first, but I think it means how many squads can be in there. I don't know what resources do. If someone can comment and let me know what resources are for, like, does that allow you to get more squads? I feel like that makes sense. The more resources you have, the more you can hire people. I think that is it. I'm probably right, but if anyone wants to correct me or... Um, reassure me that I'm right, please do, because any help is very appreciated. So, let's go on in here. Oh, and one more thing. If we do end up taking Clear Sky and Freedom out, is there anything else to do? Like, can I push through these places, Limonest, up to the NPP? To, to fight monolith now don't don't spoil anything for me i mean if they're monolith up there i know they're monolith up there so you can say oh yeah you, you can go up there and fight monolith you can tell me that and push to the npp well i guess i want to do that anyway don't i yeah because that is my goal that is one of our goals as you know stalkers you want to get loot and stuff oh fuck how am i supposed to do this That'd be worth it. Ooh, I'd say that's worth it. I guess that is one of our goals, though. We want to get, we want to get, you know, artifacts and loot and all that stuff. So we got some med kits and bandages. That's pretty good. So yeah, I guess pushing to the um, to the NPP is just something we are going to do no matter what. I was just nervous because I don't know what to do once we beat the factions because I know Monolith is a thing we can fight. Oh, and if if the thing I can do is go to the NPP, just say, yes, you can go to the NPP. Don't explain what happens there. I want to figure that out on my own. And just in case anyone else is reading the comments, I don't want them to be spoiled. I don't care as much if I'm spoiled, but more for other people's sake, I don't want anyone to get spoiled about what's going on. Uh, and I kind of don't want to be spoiled either. So, yeah, just let me know. If we go to the NPP, just say, yeah, you go to the NPP later on. Just because you have to capture that, or you should capture that, because that's your goal. And if there is no should capture that, if that's just kind of something you can do for no reason, we're going to do it anyway, because you know what? The goal of duty is to control the zone and to make sure that our militaristic faction rules all. And I want some fucking artifacts. Hell yeah! NP... Oh, shit. Get in, get in, get in. Twenty-nine seconds till a mission. Someone is talking about eating a meat junk, and someone's wondering, or someone said it's worth a lot of money. Don't eat it. This thing's worth fifteen hundred. Twenty-five hundred. That guy was wrong. It's worth more than that. How you doing there, bastard? Um, but I'm bum. I'm glad we got this 76251 ammo. I kind of don't want to hold that anymore. It's not very good. There are two people out there not in this shelter, but I think their buildings are still good for shelter. Hopefully they are. I don't want anyone to die here. We want a good squad holding this place. Granted, we really did kick some clear sky ass. We, like, oh, kicked their ass right out of here. So, I don't know if they're gonna come back right away. 
They need time to build back up. Because as you can see, Clear Sky, they're very weak right now. They're at 53. I mean, they're at 40-something when I checked earlier. So they are growing. But right now they're only at 53, so they are weakened. And no, I'm not going to go and put the final nail in the coffin. Like I said, I want a foothold in the court. And just because if they do happen to repel our attack into the swamps, um, I want something to fall back into. And something... I want to make sure that we have this position. So like I said, if they push into us, we can just kick them right back out and then push back even harder. So... We don't want to rush it. Plus, I mean, you know... A better assault rifle would be nice. You know, maybe like another a 5.56 assault rifle, but not this one. That'd be nice. And and fully upgraded guns, too, of course. I mean, and a lot more rubles. <laughs> Stuff. Money and loot. That's what we need. Are right, you good? Still waiting on this, um... A mission here. I'm contemplating dropping this. The condition's horrible. Yeah, it's honestly not even worth having because the condition is so bad. We can pick up another 556 assault rifle. They're not really rare at all. I just don't pick them up as much because I don't know. I'm kind of looking for a specific one, and I haven't found it yet. Okay, look at all those upgrades. <laughs> so sexy. Look at them all. It's amazing. This is an upgrade. I don't think you can upgrade Martha. I think I tried to upgrade Martha and it didn't let me. Unfortunately. And I still have to put the uh, silencer threading in this. There we go. Let's go ahead and move out. I don't know... Oh wow, look at the blue sky. That's so awesome. So I don't know how effective this sniper wi this sniper rifle... I say rifle a lot, don't I? I really do. Like... It's not even funny how many times I say rifle. It's a rifle. Um, so this sniper rifle, I don't know how effective it's gonna be after that emission because, as you can see, there's a lot more fog coming. Shit, help! We were walking through the bonfire on the side of the road, Corden, when a bureau appeared and swinged its hand and Vodic and broke him in half. Where? Bonfire, 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 bonfire. I don't know where this is. Bonfire? If it's really far, I'm not going. Bonfire in Hollow, that might be a bonfire near bridge. Bonfire on the side of the road, that's where it is. Mmm, sorry guys. You are on your own. Too far for me. Let's search this building real quick. God. We spotted boars coming our way. Lowlands. Um do they really need our help? Where are they? How far is that? Is that far? Oh, is that no, that's that's not even near us. Holy shit. Yeah, that's up there. We can't help. If we wanted to, we couldn't help. I mean if I was nearby I would assist, but Alright, here we go. So, I don't know how many clear sky are going to be here. We might want to call in reinforcements for this one. Now, keep in mind, there's also going to be a lot of loners here, so... Not everyone we see. Okay, one enemy, two enemy. I'm already seeing two enemies patrolling. I'm going to call in reinforcements now. I don't know how they... If they're going to come, though. Oh, yeah, okay. So, they actually go to the nearest area. That's good to know. I didn't know if that was a thing or not. I'm really glad that's a thing, though. Alright, here we go. Ready? I'm not gonna wait for reinforcements. I'm gonna engage now. Oh, and by the way, yes, they do actually reload the bolt every time. Which I didn't even realize that I... I, I remember asking that if they did the one time, and I didn't even realize that they were doing it, or the gun was doing it. But yes, it does reload the bolt, like, physically, and it looks awesome. Okay. It's reload. Is that movement? I thought I just saw movement. Hmm. Maybe not? 
They're moving at secret camp. How close is this? Oh, okay, good. Real close. Shit, there's another one. What? How did I fucking not kill him? 9% health. I shot him through the neck. Damn, so close to a headshot. And you know what? He didn't heal up like instantly, so he might not have a med kit. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch to the assault rifle here. Oh shit! Is that enemy? That's friendly. I was about to open fire. That's actually the duty squad. They're moving in. Nice. They're coming in from behind. We're, they're flanking everything here. That was close, though. Good thing I hesitated. I almost shot a duty guy right in the head. Alright. Everyone is dead. Good shooting, guys. If you don't mind. I'm gonna loot before everyone. Holy shit, I think that guy was coming to yell at me for dodging the body, but then he disappeared. And he already looted this one. He's an asshole. Oh, we got a, a stash, though. Where? Oh, up here? No, that's not it. We've had that one. Oh, man. Look at all the stashes we have in the swamps. Like, four of them right there. Defend the camp. Defend the camp. Tons of defense. Oh, that's just they're talking to each other. We can't actually go there. Oh, we can, but that's up here. Oh, wait. Freedom? Oh, shit. Well, we have the squad resources here. We gotta go and we gotta make a foothold against the Freedomers. So, we pushed through enough here. What is this? A traitor. That's Sidorovich. I'm gonna go to Sidorovich real quick. I'm gonna put a squad right here. And I think we should be good. That squad over there is gonna be like the warning squad. There actually might be clear sky there. And then next time we're moving back up to the garbage. Wait, what? Oh, that's a loner. I'm like, wait, we're not in the swamps, are we? No, it's just a loner, though. Uh, any work for me? Yeah, but... Uh, I don't really want to do work right now. I'm kind of in the middle of a faction war. I want this, but you're not going to pay much. Now, I know I can get more from duty, but I really just want to get those off me. Kind of want a steel helmet... Just to have it. Um, we do have three bandages, so that's good. I might... 2400? You double the fucking... Fuck you! Alright, let's get out of here. So let me just quickly... We're gonna move down to this camp right here. And just quickly set up a foothold. Actually, I think we'll do it next time. Because I think I'm going to end today's journey here. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.